Hi, I just wanted to record this little addition to yesterday's video because it is already possible to set a lifetime uh, onto a particle at birth and then um, kill it after that time has passed. So if I hit play here, you can see we have particles and they randomly die off. Okay. So this is the node tree here, very similar to the, what we had yesterday. I just have one mesh emitter and one force. And now here is where the magic happens. So we can actually use a particle attribute on the particle birth event. We can use its ID attribute, which is an integer. Use that as the random seed between, for example, one to six seconds in this case and set the particle attribute, which I called lifetime here. Um, you can call it whatever, so this, this doesn't have to be lifetime, but this has to be ID in capital letters. There's also a hash that you could use, uh, but the ID, ID works just fine. And then we're setting the particle here at birth, and then we're using this particle lifetime uh, attribute here um to kill the particle when that age has been reached so each particle now has a a lifetime assigned to it and we're using it to kill it so this is actually very easy now it would be nice if we could actually use that lifetime somehow in a material for example you know how you can create uh embers where you know they start off very bright and then they get orange maybe red and then when they die off they're basically black um, which is very easy to do with the material nodes with the particle systems with the old particle systems but we can't access any of this information yet in the material nodes so we're gonna have to wait that's it for this quick update thanks for watching crispy out